during the presidential symposium, the results of a very important clinical trial have been presented. And this clinical trial was addressing the role of new drugs in adjuvant therapy of fully resected, potentially cured, stage 3 colon cancer patient. This is very relevant because in this setting we are trying to increase the cure rate of patients whose tumor is localized to the primary, that is the colon, and to local lymph nodes. In this case, a standard chemotherapy that was called the Folfox 4 was tested as a standard therapy versus the combination of Folfox 4 with the anti-GFR monoclonal antibody Cetuximab. This trial was trying to address if the combination of chemotherapy plus cetuxia that is effective in metastatic disease would be also effective in earlier disease setting, that is adjuvant therapy. Unfortunately, the results of this trial are negative. In fact, although the trial has been conducted in a very careful way, more than 1,600 patients have been randomized in an intergroup trial effort all over the Europe, there is no difference between the experimental ARB containing chemotherapy plus cetuximab and standard for FOX. These results are really disappointing for us as medical oncologists and for our patients, but they were not completely unexpected since a relatively similar trial earlier on was reported by our American colleagues with similar conclusions and also because at least two trials that were of similar sites in the similar patient population were done with another monoclonal antibody targeting angiogenesis, that is bevacizumab plus chemotherapy. Also in this case, the addition of the anti-angiogenic treatment with bevacizumab did not add any efficacy to chemotherapy alone. Why this happens? There are potentially a lot of clinical and scientific explanation and we are working hard on that and also to understand if any subgroup of patients could benefit by better patient selection rather than Keras well type alone from the treatment with chemotherapy plus cetuximab. This is a hope but is also reality because we know that not all patients with Keras well type tumors are equal. This is still a relatively heterogeneous disease setting in which other molecular characterization may help us in the near future to define which is the subset of patients in which anti-GFR treatment will be also effective in adjuvant setting. On the contrary, a possibility is that in the adjuvant setting, the disease status, micrometastatic disease, and the biology of the tumor is different from the metastatic disease. In this case, the use of monoclonal antibodies, including anti-GFR and anti-angiogenesis antibodies, is not effective as it is in metastatic disease.